Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another vlog on 88 Racing. I am your host Sashank Sharma and today we have a comparison of the two most liked midweight naked bikes of our country in India that is. Now these are the two bikes. This is a GSX 750. It's a 2018 bike and that is a Kawasaki Z900. The most popular midweight segment bike that is available in India right now. Now let's talk about the price difference. So talking about the price, uh, first and foremost, our, this bike costs around 10 lakh 50 thousand right now in Guwahati that is on road and this bike uh, though it's discontinued but if we go to buy it or if we would have bought it a year back it would have cost us around 8 lakh rupees. Now there's a nice 2 and a half lakh rupees difference in the both the bikes. So is it worthy of that 2 and a half lakh rupees? Is this bike worthy of the extra money? We'll do a lot of riding today and we'll put it all in the video for your reference but overall if I would like to compare it uh, I would say from my end that yes there's a little bit a tad bit more power on this bike compared to that this is a slightly lighter bike uh, one with a little more BHP but this lacks one thing which is very important on that bike and that is traction control system and Suzuki's traction control system is one of the most precise traction control system available on the market especially for mid bikes now I have tried out the Kawasaki Z900 traction control on the 2022 bike but it's not very intuitive which is a good in certain senses but when you're riding in the rain or somewhere uh, slippery and you need that power especially out of corners especially fighting with your competitors then you realize the fact that this is just not enough you need a better system a better intuiting traction control system now it doesn't mean it intrudes so much that it doesn't let the power get down to the tarmac it does but it's just enough that you won't skid your tire but you'll get all the power done on your tarmac now who is this bike for who is this bike for and who is this bike for now talking about it this bikes these bikes actually are targeted for the audience who upgrade to a second motorcycle now first would always be a small motorcycle small capacity be it r15 be it rc200 be it a 390 be it r3 ninja 300 those are the small capacity bikes now your first upgrade to a super bike would be an inline four or a v twin or something of the mid capacity segment now this is the mid capacity segment both of these but if you want to go for that upgrade and suddenly from 40 horsepower you're suddenly going above 100 horsepower you want something to save your ass because you're very new to the whole concept of super biking that's why on our end we would like to suggest or we would like to say that is that this bike kills the competition against this not because of the lower price or something but because of the very accurate handling and specially electronic traction control system even the calipers if you would say uh, though this has got good Nissan calipers but these are axial mounted calipers as you can see they are mounted axially not radially like this this radial mounted calipers gives you the confidence of a proper liter class super bike now with that said I am going to take you directly on board to our comparison fight and test where Rehan was riding this bike the GSX 1050 and I was riding the Z9 and this is the first time in my life that I couldn't keep up to a rider on our Guwahati Shillong road which is a beautiful road we do all our testings over here when there's a long straight when there are long corners I can obviously close the gap down but when the corners are shut when it's a lot, lot of flicking the Z9 could not catch the lines could not maintain the lines as the GSX 750 would do <laughs> why my front is going wide all the time this bike can't take the lines of the uh, GSX so I have to do is catch him on the straights like this he's very fast in the corners 
the stability of the bike is very good Because of traffic, I couldn't push through. But anyway, this is the straight. Ah, Z900 is very fast on the straight. Just can't seem to. Risky, risky, risky. Z900 has more power. It's very hard to overtake the JSX, especially when you don't have a straight, because the power works only in straights. But when you're in twisties, it's so hard to overtake. I mean, you can make up, but then he's got superior handling, and he can catch the lines much, much better. So, when riders of the same caliber or more or less the same caliber are on these two bikes, the JSX takes the win. Reason being, good handling and great electronics. Now this is an old gen Z9 of course. Let's see if I can do anything different now. The traffic scene has become so bad and so... Unreliable, yeah. Whoa, whoa, so pumping.
this is kind of a populated area so we prefer especially on the big bikes we prefer to go slow because today is sunday sunday is church all the people they're going to church and the local gatherings of course so when there are streets or little open corners you can really put some daylight between you and uh, the gsx rider like i did but only if the corners are big and wide if it's narrow all this power doesn't matter the gsx will always take the win now if the roads are dry up ahead we'll do another pull but those are going to be very fast and very risky so we'll get prepared for that Can't let Rehan go too ahead.
सो हाउ डिड यू लाइक द वीडियो आई होप यू एन्जॉय इट इफ यू लाइक इट गो हैड एंड लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल एंड मेक श्योर टू ड्रॉप अ कॉमेंट बिलो ऑन विच कंपेरिजन यू वॉन्ट नेक्स्ट ना ऑल द बाइक्स आर नॉट अवेलेबल टू आस बिकॉज एज आई सेड वी आर नॉट स्पॉन्सर्ड बाई एनी कंपनी और एनी फैक्ट्री और एनी टीम फॉर दैट मैटर दिस इज ऑल वट वी हैव एंड वी हैव क्वेट अ फ्यू बाइक्स इन आर ग्रुप सो वी कैन मेक सम कंपेरिजन प्लीज ड्रॉप इट इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन बिलो ऑफ वट एवर यू वॉन्ट कीप वॉचिंग एटी एट रेसिंग सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट ब्लॉग